So if you've been working in the gig economy, whether it's Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, uh, many of the other companies, they all have said that they are going to implement sick pay for those who are mandatory quarantined by a health professional or actually come down with the disease itself. Now, the big question is, are these companies actually paying out or are they not? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's updates to what's going on, news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what actually happens on Real Rideshare Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the links in the description below for other helpful information and tips. So we're going to be talking about mostly Uber today as they were the ones who had started this. Uh, they were the first company to say, yes, we're going to provide uh, its worker force for 14 days, either if they get deemed medically uh, quarantined by a health professional or if they actually contract the disease itself. So we're going to be talking about that, although, yes, Lyft had followed suit the next day and then every other company pretty much followed suit after that as well. Uh, but essentially what it does is uh, Uber has uh, put out the most information on how you're going to get paid and all that good stuff. And then we're going to also answer if people who are putting in for sick pay, are you getting paid or not? And that is what a lot of people have been asking or wondering when it comes down to it. So I am on the Uber blog right here, and this is going to tell you how it's set up and what the support during this outbreak actually is. So if you wanna check this out, link will be in the description below, or you can just Google, um, what is it, Uber, Uber sick pay, uh, and then actually look it up. Um, so yeah, they talk about a couple of the different things about it, as well as some questions that some people may have. And then they're talking about how they're going to provide financial assistance up to 14 days if you're an active uh, delivery driver or driver with Uber. And again, it's um, pretty much most companies are like this. Um, their specifics may be a little bit different. And then here it comes, what is the criteria for drivers and delivery people when regarding this financial assistance? And you have to be diagnosed with the disease. You have to be placed under individual quarantine by a public health authority. You're personally asked by a public health authority or a licensed medical provider to self-isolate during the risk or spreading. Uh, and then during that time, your account will be restricted by Uber, which is just a temporary deactivation. Um, because they want to make sure that you aren't going out there and driving, especially uh, if you have been placed under quarantine. Um, so then it talks about how much financial assistance is Uber going to give its drivers and delivery people. So if you get uh, over the last six months an average of $28.57 per day, then your total financial assistance for those 14 days will be 400. And if you make on average 121.42 a day, then your uh, total financial assistance help for those 14 days will be 1700. So it's going to be based on how much you've worked. Now this is not in regards to unemployment or anything like that. Uh, this is talking about sick pay as well as if workers are actually getting the sick pay that these companies are talking about. So if you wanna know more about the unemployment, uh, I have made several videos on unemployment with updates as they come out and roll out. So make sure you check those out. And then also right here, um, every eligible driver in the US will receive a minimum payment of $50, even if they only have done one trip. Uh, the minim minimum payment will differ by country. But the big question is, are these drivers who fall under those four criteria markers or one of those four criteria markers, are they getting the sick paid that these companies have promised and put forward? So the short answer is yes, drivers are getting paid from these companies. Now there are the criteria that has to be met and each company is a little bit different in how they're going to pay out their people. Um, but yes, drivers and delivery drivers and shoppers are starting to get paid from uh, this sick pay. So if you have to put in for sick pay, you will get paid, but 
there could be some hurdles. And that is what a lot of drivers have faced recently when putting in for sick pay. I think that has kind of cleared up a little bit, but it was an issue uh, within the last few days to week or so. Um, so if you need to put in for sick time, then you know you may have to follow through on some of these hurdles. Uh, and it might not be the easiest thing as just submitting the paperwork and then waiting for payment. So some people starting out did have to face some hurdles and a few people even had to go to either news media outlets or blast them on Twitter in order to get paid. So as you can see right here, and this link will be in the description below so you can read the entire article, just in case you have to file for sick pay for whatever reason, and uh, if you notice that you may be getting some hurdles or the runaround from Uber or one of these companies, then you kind of have uh, to see what other drivers have done in order to get paid. Um, but hopefully they've smoothed out that process and if you put in a claim you'll get paid right away or with no problems um, so again if you get the runaround or any type of hurdle um, just kind of follow what this driver or these drivers have done in order to get paid at least within the last couple of weeks an uber driver who got the virus uh, couldn't get the company to cover his promised sick pay until he called out its ceo on twitter um, so that is one way to get hold of Uber if you need to. Um, so yeah, an Uber driver in San Francisco who tested positive uh, could not get the company to cover his sick pay as it promised until he called out the company on uh, Twitter. And then you can go through um, what the story was, was um, but he said, however, the driver told CNET that in order to upload his doctor's note, he had to agree to uh, uh, erroneous conditions like letting Uber collect personal information and acknowledging that the payments wouldn't change his status as an independent contractor. So Uber, at least in this case, is trying to do whatever it can to continue trying to make sure you stay an independent contractor versus an employee. Although, yes, this was in California where they passed AB5, um, so it might be a little different there versus other states. I haven't applied for sick pay, so I don't know. If you've applied for sick pay, please comment below. Let me know how it went for your process. Uh, if you wanna put how much you were able to receive, uh, comment that. If you don't want to, that is perfectly fine. But also let us know if you've had any hurdles that you had to go through like that driver did when it came to it. So co please comment below your experience on, on trying to get sick pay and if it went through with a hiccup or without. Uh, and then on this, also, it did uh, prompt the driver to take his request to Twitter where he described his experiences and mentioned uh, Uber CEO Dara and Chief Legal Officer Tony West in a 24 tweet thread and finally received his payment uh, $2,108 eight days later. So he was a full time driver. If you looked and remembered what we talked about before, if he averaged $121 per day, he got $1,700. So he got $2,108, which means he was averaging a little bit more than that. So he was definitely out there all the time working as much as he could. Uh, and then another driver uh, shared a similar experiencing, telling Cena that the Uber or uh, that Uber didn't respond until he tweeted at Andrew McDonald, who is U Uber's senior vice president of rides. Even then, he said the uh, company initially shorted him of one thousand um, dollars. So there is an overwhelming demand for compensation um, that. A senior contributor at the Rideshare Guy, uh, an industry news site for Uber and Lyft drivers. It's a hit and miss at best, but Uber system seems to be handling requests a little bit better than competitors. So again, that means yes, other drivers or other companies may create more hurdles than it is just a simple upload and letting them see the doctor's note. You might have to wait, you might have to go to Twitter, you might have to go to the news, you might have to do something. And it's very unfortunate that that is happening, especially if you are trying to uh, make sure you don't stay sick or stress out, which can cause uh, symptoms to expand and things to be worse than what it could be. Now there has been people who have had it paid out and that has been shown on Facebook groups and uh, Reddit and a few other places who are saying that yes, they have received payment 
And this one email that you can see right here uh, on the screen right now shows an email that is talking about financial assistance uh, policy when it comes to the sick pay. So it says, we hope your recovery is going well. We're writing to confirm that you are eligible for assistance for 14 days and your payment of $946.46 has been processed. You should expect to receive this in your next pay statement or immediately if using instant pay. And then uh, it goes on to the rest and yes you can take it out via instant pay uh, so you can see right here again that this person has uh, just used instant pay to get it out and again this is something that is going to pay out for 14 days worth so it's going to stretch it out for the average of what you have made if you weren't uh, sick and if you were able to continue driving so again, as I asked before, please comment below if you tried to get sick pay, have you experienced something like those people where you kind of got the runaround, where it was hard to get hold of people, um, where it was hard to upload everything and get paid? Uh, comment below and let me know your experience. Or also, again, if you uh, had put in for sick pay and it came pretty quick uh, without a hiccup, please comment below and let me know as well. And again, for any other information regarding unemployment benefits, which have been expanded to gig workers, uh, then make sure to check out my other videos that I have made, which help explain a lot of different things and answer a lot of questions that I've had from other people. Uh, so you can make sure that you get what you need and have the correct information as well. And as new updates do come along, I will make sure to continue uh, updating, whether it's about unemployment, how to file, because because it is brand new, states are trying to set it up, or anything new on the Uber, Lyft, or gig worker front. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on that. And also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.